hey there, okay, there are some things that you need to know about vitamin D. So today we're going to talk about seven things that you did not know about vitamin D. And I feel like it's really important that you know this, especially if you are a woman over 40 in midlife, in perimenopause and menopause. So we're going to get into that. My name is Robin, Certified Nutrition Specialist. I am the creator of Necessary Nutrition Vitamin D and the Necessary Nutrition Pause Plan, which is a nutrition plan, meal guide, key resources, live programming for women in perimenopause and menopause, dedicated to helping you, as I've done myself and so many others, mitigate symptoms and concerns related to the menopause perimenopause journey because it can be rough. But today we're going to get into it about vitamin D. Seven things that you did not know and you need to know these things. My intention is always to share information that empowers you. So what I want you to do is please do like this video, subscribe to the channel, always putting out good information, I, I believe, and share it as well. All right. So vitamin D. Why should you even care about vitamin D? People think about vitamin D a lot of times just for bones, but it is critical to your overall health. So number one, we're talking about the seven things you did not know. Number one is vitamin D is actually a hormone and hormones are responsible in the body to trigger functions and other things. And so with vitamin D, it has, is responsible for the activity in more than 200 of your genes. So in order for your body to work and these genes to work, it needs vitamin D more so than any other vitamin. So that's number one. Number two, seven things. Number two is that you actually can't get a lot of vitamin D from your food. So you hear, okay, get your vitamin D from dairy. You can get it, you can get it from dairy, you can get it from mushrooms and egg yolk, but not, not enough to get your vitamin D levels up to where it should be. And there's other videos around here that talk about what your vitamin D should be. But with that, you want to get it mostly from the sun or supplements. That is your primary source. In the sun, the sun is your primary source. And then if you're not in the sun, which a lot of us aren't, then you are getting it from supplements. That's just, that's just the reality. So number three, I get off of my counting. Number three is that vitamin D, your skin tone affects your vitamin D. Did you know that? So if you are darker, if you have melanated skin, if you're black, if you're Hispanic and other cultures that have darker skin, your ability to receive and produce it from the sun is not as effective as it would be with someone with lighter skin. It's said that you, me, may need three to six times as much sun exposure in order to get adequate vitamin D. That's a lot of sun exposure. So if you thought, oh, I'll just go in the sun, which is great. I still recommend being in the sun 15 minutes a day as much as you can, but it may not be effective if you are melanated. All right, are we on number four? Y'all gotta keep me, I'm like, which, which I have a little notes because I'm like, which number am I on? So number four, is also if you're wearing sunblock. Now, bless your heart, if you're out there wearing sunblock and you have darker skin, then you're not getting it, basically. You're not getting it all if you are wearing sunblock. And sunblock is good to protect your skin from all the other things that you don't want, the harmful rays, but it's also protecting you from what is beneficial, which is the vitamin D. So I'm on number four. I think I'm on number four. Number five is that you cannot receive vitamin D from two thirds of the, the states, the country when it's winter time. So depending on when you're listening, if it's winter 
and you live in two thirds of the country, you're not even getting the sun. Now there are certain states, I'm gonna remember these states, there's uh, that have more sun. So these states have more sun all year round. Nevada, California, New Mexico, Texas, Utah, Florida. Those states have more sun year round, but most of us are not living in those states. And even if you are, that doesn't mean that your, your skin tone is absorbing it or you're not wearing sunscreen, but just know that in the winter, it's not even available for you. That is where supplementation is key. Are we on number six? I believe we're on number six. Number six is that this, this shock me is vitamin D is most available between 10 and two in the midday. So if you're out taking a morning walk, you're not even getting the, 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 as much as you could, or if you're having a wonderful evening stroll, no. It's available the most between 10 and two. Did you know that? I think I'm off with my numbers, guys. I think I'm off. That's the uh, the brain fog, right? The midlife menopausal brain fog. I want to say I'm on number seven. I think I am, right? I'm going to go through them again just to make sure. But numbers, I think I'm on number seven. So we said, before I get to number seven, because I, I really want you to understand number seven. So we said that it's a hormone. So it is responsible and triggers the, the behavior of so many of your cells and genes, right? Then we said that you don't get a lot from your food, mostly from the sun and supplements. We said that your skin tone affects your vitamin D and that sunscreen, and I'm going to number seven. So sunscreen blocks it. Number five, got to make sure two thirds of the country in the winter, it's not even available. Number six, but you get your most amount hot. So number six, we get your most amount between 10 and two. And then number seven, aha, we are on number seven. Number seven, drum roll. Vitamin D3 is best taken when you're taking it as a supplement with K2. And I did do a video on that. So it's somewhere around here of why K2 is important for you. But let me say, that K2 helps in conjunction with your vitamin D to take the dietary calcium that is in your bloodstream and help put it in your bones, which we need as women in midlife and keep it away from your kidneys and soft tissues and your arteries. So you've heard of calcification of arteries. K2 helps that to not occur. And you are better for it when your D3 and your K2 are together. Now, if you are taking a blood thinning medication, you're on kidney dialysis or you have kidney disease, then you really want to check with your doctor before adding K2. So it may not be recommended in that case. But otherwise, if you're taking D3, then you want to marry it with D2. I'm repeating that. If you're a woman in midlife, your, our bones are so important and not just a woman in midlife, our bones are important for everyone. But as we age, we're the ones that are likely to get osteoporosis and fall and fractures and all of those things. And that is known to help support us in our bone strength. So if you're taking vitamin D right now and you do not have it coupled with K2, you heard it from me. So my recommendation is for you to do a couple of things. Necessary nutrition. If, so if you're taking someone else's D3, and you don't um, have the K2, then you can grab K2 from Necessary Nutrition. And the link is down there. But if you are you're ready to partner, not partner with us, but lock arms with Necessary Nutrition, go ahead and grab our D3 K2. D Vitamin D is something that I specialize in. I study. And then Necessary Nutrition, we have our vitamin D supplement. It's, we've had it for 16 years. So we would love to be your vitamin D supplier. And it comes with perks. And then lastly, before I say goodbye, so goodbye for now, I also want to invite you to come and join us for the Necessary Nutrition Pause Plan. And that program is designed to help you in midlife mitigate signs, symptoms, and concerns related to this menopause journey that can be 
rough. And I know that we all want to feel good, live better and thrive. So take a look at that and see if you'd like to lock arms with me and the experts that have partnered with me as well. So we can all eat well, think well and be well and thrive in midlife. All right, this is Robin, certified nutrition specialist, the creator of Necessary Nutrition Vitamin D and the Necessary Nutrition Pause Plan saying, I'll see you next time on the next video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, share this video with others that you know that can benefit because maybe they did not know. Also, seven things that you did not know. Um, how many of those seven things did you know? I wonder, did you know them all? Did you know them some? Did you know a little? Anyways, I hope that's helpful for you. Peace and blessings. Take care. And I'll see you next time.